Hello, what's up guys? I hope everybody's having a great day and staying safe. This will be a quick video. I'm just going to use one of my other videos on the TV. Probably want to look at that rather than my ugly mug. This is how to properly winterize or more importantly exercise your Onan generator in the winter. It doesn't matter if it's an Onan MicroQuiet 4000, uh, 5500, whatever. It's really important to exercise it in the winter. Uh, I know people don't. You start it in the spring and it works, but you're playing Russian roulette that way. Because it's really simple to do. First of all, we're talking about owning generators that run off your RV's gas tank. Um, the best thing you can do is in the fall, uh, get you a fuel stabilizer. Uh, what is it, Startron or um, Stabil, any of those work online, gas station, whatever, uh, auto store, you can find fuel stabilizer. It's simple. Um, put the proper amount in your RV's gas tank. Then fill your RV full of gas. Then you can drive your RV home. I'd run your generator while I'm driving home too, so that that gets through the engine of the of both the... Uh, RV and your R and your, uh, the RV and your uh, generator, you know, it mixes through there and gets through your engine real good. Um, if you have a full gas tank, it's going to prevent a lot of problems with condensation and stuff. Also, um, second of all, if if you're in a climate that gets down to about 20 degrees, you can just put a trickle charger on your RV batteries, maybe disconnect the um, negative post on one of the batteries would be a good thing to do. The battery that comes off, off from the RV or depending on how many batteries, just disconnect your batteries. Use the switch, whatever, disconnect the negative cables and put the trickle charger on it. If you're in a real brutal winter, you may want to put them in a warm part of the garage. However, doing that, you're going to have to pull at least one back out to um, do what I say to do on the uh, winter exercising of it. So just put a trickle charger on them and leave them in your RV. They're fine. Okay. It's important to exercise your um, RV generator, your owning generator. What's the biggest load you can put on it? It's better to put a big load on it. What appliances are the best? Well, obviously the one that's going to put the most load on it is the air conditioner. Um... When it's 30 degrees outside, the air conditioner is not going to turn on. So that's off the table. So the simple solution is to make dinner. Every four to six weeks, go out, start your generator. Take three or four large baked potatoes and throw them in your microwave and put it on about 25 minutes. And when that's done, you've more than adequately exercised your generator. Everything's good and run through. And as a byproduct, you've got a couple baked potatoes for dinner. Um, if you don't, for some reason, have a microwave, maybe take a little one out of your house, buy a one at a garage sale. They're cheap nowadays. Uh, you can get them for practically nothing. You should get one and set it in your RV just for the winter, but most people have a microwave. A few baked potatoes, 25 minutes, boom. You've exercised it, and you won't have a surprise in the fall when um, you go to take that trip to the beach, the desert, or the mountains, and or in the spring, and um, it don't start, or it starts, and then it shuts off, and it's got a lot of damage and stuff done to it. So the simple solution, again, to recap, make sure your RV is full of gas and has a fuel stabilizer in it. Make sure you've run that, which you would have coming back from the gas station. Run your RV, obviously, to drive back. Let your generator run. It doesn't have to be under a load. You just want that stabilizer to get through all the lines. Put a trickle charger on your batteries. Just a very low charge. It lasts all winter. It'll go all winter. And then every four to six weeks, make baked potatoes. It doesn't get much simpler than that, but it will save you a lot of problems. And I know you may say, hey, I haven't done that in three years, or I, don't, I haven't done that, and it's been four years or two years. You've got lucky. I can cite several people that, you know, letting it set, winter, condensation, 
they ain't so lucky. And you can get into a big expense. So anyway, that's a simple maintenance. It's that simple. You don't need to do anything else. You're done. Make baked potatoes and make sure your, your gas tank and your RV's full and stabilized and wait for spring to go to the beach. All right, guys and gals, take care. We'll see you later. Peace.